Hey guys, I have uh, one of my uh, older models here that I uh, just opened up and the model uh, has a really simple animation. And one thing that I want to show in this video is how do we create a really uh, quick uh, turntable so we can maybe see our work from every uh, single angle. All right, so create a turntable. Uh, all we need to do is go to our animation dropdown and then go to visualize and under create turntable let's go ahead and click on options and here we can decide if we want the turntable of our model to be clockwise or counterclockwise so in my case i'll leave it uh i'll leave it on counterclockwise and you also can decide how long you want the animation to be i'm gonna set this to maybe 300 and see uh what that uh, will feel like and also keep keep uh, in mind your frames per second this is another setting that uh, we can select as well right now right now mine is just set to 24. okay and the uh, only other thing that we must do is tell maya what are we creating the turntable around so i'm going to select my mesh and now if i click uh, turntable uh, take a look and see what happens in my outliner group one was created and group one now has the turntable camera in it, right? And one uh, interesting thing is if you go to panels perspective, you can see that a turntable camera was created as well. And we can also see right here that Maya actually set that to be our default camera um, right now or active camera. So the only other thing that I need to do before I press play to preview my turntable is I must set the number of keyframes to match what I uh, did in the settings, right? So in my case, it's going to be 300. And I'm going to drag my timeline to be 300 as well. And now as long as I'm on frame keyframe one, I can just simply press play. And you can see that my camera is simply going to go around my character at 24 frames per second, uh, 300 frames, just like I said. And the other thing that we can take a look is if we select our group, we can go to uh, Windows, Animation, Graph Editor, and we can see that our turntable camera has this current curve. If you don't want the ease in and ease out and you want your spin to be consistent, all you need to do is just simply select your curve and switch it to linear uh, tangent instead. As soon as I do that, you can see that my curve line has changed. Now, if I close this and press play again, this time the camera is not going to do the ease in and ease out, and it's just going to consistently kind of spin around the character. So in my case, uh, my character has an animation that is just a simple loop. And as soon as the character closes its mouth, I know that this is where my loop ends. So one thing I could do is I could actually select my um, camera's keyframe that was created holding down the shift and clicking and now i can actually put this right where the character closes uh, his mouth so instead of 300 273 actually would be better for my character so i'm going to do 273 so i can adjust it and now you can see if i go back and forth uh, back and forth the um, i don't have any uh, jump in my animation so now if i press play you should uh, see a smooth transition. So I wanted to kind of show you a couple different uh, things that you can do in addition to creating the turntable, you can also do some adjustments for the timing uh, on your end. So I hope you find this useful and I'll see you next video.